Okay, I want to quickly give you a brief demonstration of the Generico filter and how we can use this in a real, real life scenario. A user asked today on the forums if there was a scientific calculator in Moodle and they wanted to use Poodle to do that. But this is actually a good case for the Generico filter because it's uh, like a Swiss Army knife where you can create your own uh, set of filters that can be expanded into widgets. So let's watch as I create a scientific calculator for Moodle using the Generico filter. Okay, if you're not familiar with the Generico filter, uh, it allows you to define little snippets of code that will be, or strings, which will be replaced with code in your pages uh, when Moodle processes them. So first of all, let's look at our scientific calculator code. I just did a very quick Google search for JavaScript scientific calculator, and this is what I came up with. JavaScript kit. Uh, this is the scientific calculator here. It'll do things like square roots uh, and trigonometry. Uh, you need to insert the following into the head tags of your page. So this is the JavaScript here. And then beneath that, uh, if you can see, you also have this HTML code here, which you need to insert into the body tag of your page or wherever you want the scientific calculator to appear. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take this code here, which is the HTML which we want to display wherever we display the scientific calculator. We are going to put that into our Generico filter. Okay, and this is the Generico filter settings page here. We've got plugins, Generico, and this is the settings. Now I've already got settings for YouTube, houses, and some other demonstration ones here. You can have up to 10. In this case, uh, we're going to make this one a scientific calculator. Just to make it fast, we'll call it science. And here in the body of the template, I will put uh, that code that we just copy and pasted. Okay. You see, you've also got here a little uh, links to the original source. We can remove that if we want, but let's let's leave it and be nice. Uh, we could put uh, variables and defaults in here, but let's uh, not because we don't need to do that for this particular case. Uh, and we'll save that. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get this JavaScript here. We could have actually put this in the same location that we put uh, you know, the, the, the other code, which we're going to display on each page. But in actual fact, you may want to have multiple calculators on a page, uh, and uh, it's much tidier to actually put this HTML code, this as JavaScript code, into the head of the page. And Moodle gives us a nice place to do that here. Uh, is it here? Is it here? It's, um, it's here under appearance and here we have additional HTML. This will give us an area in which we can add little pieces of JavaScript to the head of our pages on each of our pages of Moodle. Uh, in this case I've already got code here for Google Analytics but just beneath this I'll add the script that I copied from uh, the scientific calculator page and I will save it. All right, so now we, we've set up our filter that will display a JavaScript scientific calculator anywhere in Moodle and now we just have to you know add that uh, code to a page. So let's create a page and uh, let's lift up so you can see here. Here's our page. Add. Just type in here a calculator. Okay, forgive my spelling. It's my typing really. Uh, you need to add a description to a page. And this is the page content. Now here we actually call our our filter that we've created. We call it in, and we do that using this this code here: generico colon type equals and the name of our template that we created there which was a scientific calculator we called it science uh, and hi this is my calculator again a little bit monster the spelling okay and when we save and display that uh, it will replace the generico type equals science with a scientific calculator which works and there it is there okay and you can see it's fully functioning Get the square root it'll do the trigonometric trigonometric functions okay uh, you could use 
anything you find on the internet, little JavaScript snippets and, and things like that uh, to create this kind of thing. So uh, it's very flexible. Uh, and if you just play with it a little bit, I think you'll find lots of ways that you might be able to use it in your courses.